In Durham, city and county leaders are extending their stay-at-home order, and it has some stricter regulations, more strict than the state. Right now, it's been extended indefinitely. This has some businesses in Durham concerned about what this means for them when it comes to reopening. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live at the Carolina Theater. And Crystal, how are they staying afloat? Well, you still can't come see a movie here, but one thing you can do is you can come here to pick up food. Now, take a look at this. They are offering what they're calling takeout concessions. Now, we've seen some people come up here to pick up food. They'll order it online, and the employees will hand it to them outside the door. Now, this is one way this business is staying afloat, as several are still closed under the stay-at-home order. Today, the city and county decided to extend that order indefinitely. The order also continues to require face coverings in public and limits the number of people who can attend a funeral to 25. It does, however, allow realtors to show occupied homes under certain conditions. We have to get our economy going back again and we have to do it safely. And so our order is an attempt to try to balance those things. I don't think there would be any advantage to hurrying up just to make money. That's that's very that would be very short sighted. Now, to be clear, the city of Durham is currently in the first phase of reopening, just like the rest of the state is. Durham's order simply just has a few more stricter regulations than the state. Now, as for if the city will move on to phase two, along with the rest of the state, the mayor says right now it's simply too early to tell. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.